Hello everyone, my name is Kyle and this is Web Dev Simplified, where we make the web easy to understand and accessible for everyone. Now you guys have all probably watched quite a few tutorial videos in JavaScript and you may have noticed that people declare their variables using var and let but don't really explain the difference between the two. You may also even see people using const to declare their variables and it can get confusing to determine which one is the correct one to use in different situations. In this video, I'm going to go over the differences between var, let, and const, and at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you which one you should use for which situations. So let's get started now. So if you didn't already know, JavaScript used to only have one keyword to declare variables, and that was the var keyword. This keyword allowed us to create variables which were function scoped, but people started to run into problems with having these function scoped variables along with a few other caveats related to var. So the let and const keywords were created to create variables that are block scoped instead of function scoped. And essentially the difference between the two is a function scoped variable is available anywhere inside of the function that it's declared in, while a block scoped variable is only available inside of the block it's declared in. So for example, an if statement or a loop would be a block that that variable is only available inside of, but not outside of that if or loop, for example. So let's jump into an example of me showing you that now. So I just have a simple example open on the left here, where I have two different blocks defined with these if statements, and inside of these blocks, I'm declaring a variable, and the first one I'm declaring using var, and the second variable I'm declaring using let. I'm then just logging the output of these variables to the console on the right side of the screen here. So if we save this, you'll see that this var variable returns, this is true, and that's perfect. And it's using doing that because this var variable is function scoped. And if there's no function that it's inside of, it's just globally scoped. So it's available outside of this block of the if statement. So that when we go to this console log here, it's able to log the value. But when we get to this let variable, we see we get an error over here saying that it can't actually find this let variable and that's because the let variable is only defined within the block that you create it, which means that inside of this if statement is the only place this let variable is available, but it's not available outside the if statement. If we put this log inside the if statement here, and we save that, you now see that it's logging inside of the if statement, but outside of the if statement is still throwing that error because it's outside of the block that we've defined it in. This works exactly the same if we define this using const, as you can see, we get the exact same error because const and let are both block scoped while var is function scoped. Another thing that's unique to var is that var variables can be reassigned multiple times by actually redeclaring the variable. So here we have var, var variable equals this is true. If I wanted to go maybe outside of this if and I say var, var variable equals this is false, for example, it'll completely redefine this var variable. But if I did this with let, for example, so if I did let, let variable equals true, and then right after that, I tried to set it to false here. If I save that, you see that I see that let variable has already been declared. I can't actually redeclare it, but with var, I can redeclare the var as many times as I want. This is actually one of the things that I think is the biggest problems with the var keyword for declaring variables because it allows you to overwrite variables accidentally that you didn't actually mean to overwrite because normally when you declare a variable with a keyword in front of it, either var, let, or const, you're thinking this is the first time this variable is being declared. So if you are able to overwrite variables by doing this, you may accidentally overwrite variables that you don't intend to, which is the biggest problem with var. And let takes care of that problem because it won't let us do that ever, which will save us from making those simple mistakes. Another way that var and let differ is that var actually allows us to use a variable before we declare it. So for example, if we have a variable, we're just going to call it var variable again. And if we just want to console.log var variable, and this is before we've actually declared var variable, you'll see if we run that, we get an error saying that it's not defined. But if we define this var variable afterwards, and we run this, you see that it actually runs as undefined instead of an error saying that the variable is not defined. And that's because the var keyword allows us to create a variable after we use it, and it still allows us to go through and say that that variable exists. 
And now if we want to log the scepter here, you'll see that it prints true with the actual value we set it to here. But let does not work this way. If we change this to be let instead of var, and we save it, you see that we get a reference error saying that right here, this variable is not actually able to be found because it's not created like it would be with var, because var creates the variable even if it's declared after it's used. It'll just be undefined until it gets to the point where it's actually created if you're using var. And const works exactly the same way. Const and let are essentially exactly the same in every single way, except for const does not allow you to redeclare the variable. So, for example, if we have const in here, which we can call this const var, and we would want to set it to the value of one, we just put a let in here, call it let var, we'll also set it to one. And then let's say we wanted to change const var to equal two. And we want to do the same thing with let var. We're going to change let var to be two. If you save that, you see that we get an error saying that assignment to the constant variable is not allowed. And that's because we can't change const var to be a different value. That's essentially the only thing that const prevents us from doing. And it's exactly the same as let otherwise. But const does allow us to actually change the properties of the object if it is an object. So for example, if we had it as an object instead, and which had a name in here, we're going to say Bob, for example, and then we wanted a console.log the const variable, you see that we get Bob. And if we come in here, const actually allows us to change the different properties in it. So we could change the name to be Sally instead. And if you save that, you see that we don't actually get an error. So const only prevents us from changing the actual value of reassigning the variable to a different value, but not actually changing the different properties in that value. So in a way, const and let are very similar. So you can use them both. And I would actually recommend you use const over let unless you need to change the value of the variable. And that way you make sure you don't accidentally change the value if you don't want to. And that's essentially all the differences between const, var, and let. As we know, var is at the function level, so it is scoped much wider than the let and const variables, which are scoped at the block level, which is much more like other programming language that you may have used before JavaScript, because that's how almost every other programming language handles variables, is by scoping them at the block level instead of the function level. And because of this, and many other reasons, I think that you should use const and let almost every single time when declaring variables, unless you have a very specific case for using var. And even if you do, I recommend you to highly think through why you want to use var, because it's almost always better to change your design to use const and let instead of using var. And then as to use const or let, like I said earlier, I would use const for variables that don't actually change, and I would default to using const unless you need to change the variable, such as the iterator inside of a loop, and then use let in that case. So I hope you guys learned something about the differences between const, var, and let, and when you should use the different ones in different scenarios. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like down below, and give me a comment Let me know what other JavaScript topics you want me to cover in the future. Thank you guys very much for watching, and have a good day.